What's going on YouTube? GFNO right here. So in today's video, I have more great news for those of you on iOS 14 and 14.0.1 waiting for a jailbreak, especially on the A12 and A13 devices. This video is brought to you by AnyTrans. They currently have a contest where you can win the new AirPods Pro or Apple Music subscriptions by sharing your favorite music lyrics with the hashtag RememberWithAnyTrans. Check their contest out in the link below. So as you probably remember, yesterday I made a video in which I talked a little bit about the ABC research and of course about their jailbreak and of course their exploit and stuff like that. Their exploit is actually quite interesting. They managed to achieve SSH completely on iOS 14 on both the beta and the release versions. So this is definitely cool. Well today we got even more good news but this time from Luca Tedesco. You probably remember Luca from the Yalu jailbreak back on iOS 10 and he is also part of the Check Rain team. So definitely a very talented developer in the iOS security community and has created very impressive exploits before. Well a couple of hours ago they posted this which is basically a panic log and a couple of information about the device and it seems to be an A13 device judging by the kernel version in here running iOS 14. Of course this white rectangle in here is actually put to hide the registers because some of them can give away where the bug is and that's not intended. Then they followed it up with this quote three days from LPE bug to full exploit and brand new PAC bypass found accidentally. Hard work. And LPE stands for local privilege escalation and PAC stands for pointer authentication codes. Now this doesn't seem to be the same thing like the ABC research have but it's actually quite interesting and probably even more powerful. Now there's no word yet on any release from Luca so we don't know for sure what course of action they are going to take for now whether they're going to release it or of course whether they're going to keep it as a zero day or of course report it to Apple and follow responsible disclosure it's unknown for now. But if you're already on iOS 14 stay there do not update to any any new iOS versions in the future because if this gets released in the future this might be a solution for a jailbreak. Now a very important thing they mention in here is the PAC bypass they found accidentally. What exactly is a PAC bypass? Well as you probably know when A12 devices were introduced they also had something called PAC or pointer authentication codes. Those are actually put in place to prevent the modification of the code and of course modification of application memory in general. So that became a problem for the jailbreak community because with PAC you can't have tweaks, you can't have many other things that are related to the jailbreak. So a PAC bypass like they have in here would actually allow a jailbreak to fully work, even with tweaks and stuff like that. Now we don't know for sure what's going on with the check rain for the moment and we don't know whether this is going to be used in check rain in the future or not. We do know that Luca Tedesco is part of the check rain team and we do know that the check rain does have preliminary support for the iOS 14 on some devices but this jailbreak in here is based on a bootroom exploit and is not working with the A12 and A13 devices while the bug that Luca Tedesco has found and the exploit that they have developed is actually supporting A12 and A13 as well by the looks of the photo they posted so it's unknown for now whether this is going to be used in the uh, check rain or whether this is going to be published or not at some point but it's definitely a great achievement. For those of you who are interested in jailbreaking I would definitely recommend you to stay on 13.7 and lower. It's still a better idea. However, if you already updated the 14.0 or 14.0.1, we're going to get the ABC research stuff at some point when it gets patched and that's for sure because I talked to them and they confirmed. But I didn't talk to Luca and I don't know whether they're going to post anything about this or not. I wanted to make a video to tell you about it because it's an important achievement. But yeah, we don't know whether this is going to get released or not. So please do not update iOS 14 if you are on a lower version like 13.7 or lower. Very impressive on Luca's part but definitely stay as low as possible because we don't have any guarantee that that will get released. Thank you for watching, I am GS Now. till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out.